Hello everybody. Welcome to the Sasnas. Featuring Dance Mummy. Hello everybody. Welcome to Darth Mummies and the Sasnas. So today is a very special video. This is how to install the fork of Akada. So this is the voice AR. So what you first need to do is get these two files here. This one and this one. These two are for if you use NVIDIA. And these one, this one is if you use anything else. This one's for AIM, I mean, this one's for NVIDIA. This one's for NVIDIA. If you have NVIDIA graphics card, you get both of these. If you have an AMD graphics card or anything else, you get this. And that's if you're using Windows. The others are for the operating systems. So if you're using Windows and you have an NVIDIA graphics card, remember you need to get both of these. And this is how I do it. I get them. So we gotta wait for them to install. And there's one more thing that you're gonna need. You're gonna need the virtual cable. So either you need the VAC root virtual cable, or you need the VB audio virtual cable. Either will work. If you're gonna get the VAC virtual cable, you need to go into the website where you need to go into download and then you need to go here you need to get the light version because this is the free one so you need to go to the second option over here otherwise if you're going to get the vb audio cable then you just need to go here and download it. It's very easy to install, but you need to remember to run it as admin. So, to show you how you do it, is you just go and get the cable. Just like that. Now you download them. I'm going to wait for these downloads to finish. Okay, so once you have your files downloaded, what I tend to do is I create a new folder and I drag both of them into the new folder and then I expand there and then if you see, this one has a bad part in the name. Because the downloads may stop. So I'll make sure that they end with .zip. And then .001 and .002. Now when I extract them. Extract them using 7-zip, by the way. So once completely extracted, you'll have two files here, which you can ignore. And then you go into here. Now you need to run this. This will open your console. That'll download the actual voice changer. This is how the, this is how to look for everybody.
What you're seeing is it downloading the model files and installing the actual, like, the voice changer itself. This is what makes this option so much easier to use. Because to install it, provided you did the first step of getting these two archives and extracting them correctly, this step is just easy. Because you run that single file and then it installs itself. So once it's done installing, it's going to open in your web browser and you're going to want to allow your microphone. Now, what the first thing you're going to need is a voice model. And to make sure that you've installed these VB cables, you only need one of the virtual cables. And, um, once you have the virtual cable installed, which I'll cover in a second bit, you'll be able to set it as your output. But first, you want to select your RMVP engine. Okay, once you have your model file, you can upload the PTH. And that's upload how you upload your model. You can also add the index file. But you don't necessarily need it. Now you're going to be tempted to just click start, but it's not going to work. So what you first need to do is select your graphics card here. Then set your tongue, your chunk. If you have a bad graphics card, you're going to have to say to higher chunk. So like a 1660, you'll probably want to use a chunk of about 800. If you've got a modern card like a 4080 or a 4060, you can probably go down to about between 120 and about 40. Use your bark like 48. That's as close as I can get it without breaking up. I would say I'm going to put it on 60 so it can perform well. And then I'm going to select my input. I'm going to first set it to server. So that it selects my stuff. And now I'm going to find the channel. For me, I use uh, NVIDIA Broadcast, so I set my microphone as my NVIDIA Broadcast. If you use a headset, you'd set it as your headset. If you use a desk mic, you'd select your desk mic itself. For example, your microphone. If you use voice meter, you'd have to choose your voice meter cable, whichever cable is the one that you use to carry your voice. In my case, I just select the NVIDIA broadcast. And then for output, this is where you're going to need that virtual cable. You're either going to have your LAN 1, because you installed VAC, or you're going to have the cable input VB audio, which would be not this one. If 
but it would be this knife. Cable D, cable B. Which one is the virtual cable? These are all my virtual cables. I believe this one is the normal virtual cable. I have cables, the normal one, then cables A and B, and then D and C. But for you, you'd probably just choose the regular one. Otherwise, like we said, I would suggest using the VAC one because it's easy to determine. And that's how you use it. You just choose it like that. Now for monitor, you want to choose your headset or one of your virtual channels in voice meter. And that'll let you monitor the voice. Now, I'm going to choose the desktop so that it comes through on the recording. Let's see. Where do we find it? I believe it might be that one. Okay. So you're going to want to go into advanced settings. And you pretty much don't need to do anything here. It's not like a Okada. Once you've got everything set up, you choose your sample rate. Most models are only 3200. But you want to check the sample rate of the model. If it's a 3200 sample model, use 3200. If it's a 4400 hertz, then use 4400 hertz. And if it's a 4800 hertz model, then use 4800 hertz. But my N is only a 3200 uh, hertz model, so I'm only going to use 3200 hertz. Once you've got everything done, you can select your model, and then it will load your actual model. Another setting you should change. If you have a good graphics card, to set the sample rate, I mean the extra, to about 2.7 seconds. And then if you're using a female model and you're a male, they have to increase the pitch. And if you use a female model and you're a female, you may have to decrease the pitch. That will be vice versa for male models. If you're a female and you're using a male model, You'll have to decrease the pitch. And if you're using a male model as a male, you either have to increase it a little bit or decrease it a little bit. But the pitching will help you with how high and low the voice sounds. So, for example, if we set this one to about number 10. And if you set this one to about 1.2 with the Darth Mommy model and you load her up, you'll see, you'll see, it sounds just, it sounds like, just Darth like Darth Mommy. Why don't you look Why at that? You look at that? Now, once you hear you've got a fully working voice changer, and you're going to probably want to add it to Discord. So what you're going to need to remember, whatever you set as your output device, you have to set as your microphone on whatever application you're trying to use the voice changer on. For example, if you join Discord, and you have your voice changer running, but you have the wrong device selected, for example, like this,
If you have your microphone selected, they're going to hear your real voice. But if you have your virtual cable selected, you're going to see what comes through on Discord, Discord is going to be gonna be perfect. Perfect. There you go. There you go. Don't forget, if you're using the voice changer, you'll need to click start to start it. Stop it is by clicking stop. Because if you have it running, and then, and then you accidentally, you accidentally close your, web, close your browser web browser page, page. Why don't you look at that? It's still running. I know, what do I do? You go all the way to the top, and you'll see, here's the link. You click on the link, hold control and click on the link. There it is. Here's your voice changer. It's still running. So you need to click stop. And that'll stop the voice changer. Then when you close your web browser, you can close the console. Okay, now, for those of you that don't know how to do virtual cable, it's very easy once you have it downloaded. You go into the folder, you right click on it, you make sure you extract it first, because I forgot to extract it. That's the VB cable. And that's the VAC cable. Now this one has a setup 64 file. Which you don't need to run as admin. Because when you run it. It's going to ask if you can run it as admin. And there you go. Once you run it, you click yes, and then you don't have to run the uninstaller, because I already have it installed, it's not going to need to be installed, and I can cancel the installation. Now for the other one, you have to remember, to run it as admin first. Now, once you run it, you're going to be able to install it here. What I want you to remember is if you've installed Virtual Cable, it's going to change your system devices. So you're going to have to go into here and reset your headset as your output device. And your input device will be your microphone because it's going to set it to your line one cable for both input and output. So you need to remember to do this because otherwise when you install it, you're not going to be able to hear anything because all the sound is going to go into the virtual cable. So you have to remember to change it from the virtual cable to your headset. And that's how you install the virtual cable. If there's any questions, you can put them on my video and I'll see if I can answer them for you. We might make a better video in the future, but for now, this is the best one you're getting. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a good day. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.